Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about huge news of Hedera partnering with Visa. So during the most recent Clinton Global Initiative, a representative of the online banking app Orocash detailed as to how the app is set to utilize both Hedera and Visa into their, into their protocol. So the representative detailed as to how Hedera is set to be incorporated into a smart payment system which will serve over 100,000 people. However, this initiative is currently within its pilot scheme. So we won't see the true benefits Hedera and this Visa partnership will provide in terms of in the short and midterm. So the following clip features a representative of Orocash detailing the benefits Orocash provides and how Orocash is set to have a partnership with both Hedera and Visa. You simply uh, log into your Orocash app, create your quick bank, chat, fund and vote on projects you care about in the US or overseas. Oro is Web3. We can find the best of banking Visa debit and a carbon neutral blockchain with our proprietary IP to deliver messaging and voting, quick bank groups, person to person sends, AI credit scoring, and cross border payments. Oro is Web3. We combine the best of banking, Visa debit, and a carbon neutral blockchain with our proprietary IP to deliver messaging and voting, quick bank groups person-to-person -person sends, AI credit scoring, and cross-border payments. Oro is live. Ladies and gentlemen, we are beta testing Oro right now. It's gonna be available to the public in October, and we are targeting 100,000 users on the Oro Cash platform across the US, the Caribbean, and Africa. Oro is a winner. We have a $500,000 uh, blockchain payment platform contract from the HBAR Foundation. We participated in Techstars and we are the Visa Everywhere Black Founder Edition winner. Oro is Web3. We combine the best of banking, Visa debit, and a carbon neutral blockchain with our proprietary IP to deliver messaging and voting, quick bank groups, person to person sends, AI credit scoring and cross-border payments. So as detailed by the representative at Orocash, the app is set to take on the benefits surrounding Hedera, most notably Hedera's scalable nature, where Hedera comes with a number of benefits, especially in regards to its consensus service, where at Hedera's base level, the network can validate and process over 10,000 transactions per second. And when sharding mechanisms are induced to Hedera, these transactions can be unlimited in number and quantity. However, sharding mechanisms haven't been rolled out to the Hedera network as of yet. And this is all compounded with the organization also set to use the payment infrastructure associated with Visa. So this initiative doesn't see the direct partnership between both Hedera and Visa. However, the centerpiece in regards to Orocash harnessing both Hedera and Visa brings together some degree of insights into how both Hedera and Visa could be used in conjunction for a wider payment infrastructure, in this case Orocash. So this is the um, Orocash website where they go into detail about their offerings, where again, they are an online banking service. And the website also details as to the number of partnerships and backers the organization has, including Hedera, the HBAR Foundation and Visa itself. And again, the app provides a number of benefits for its users, especially in regards to the ability to send money abroad and even receive money without the need for banks. So one of the main reasons as to why Orocash may have turned to Hedera for this initiative, most notably in regards to its scalable nature and also its energy consumption capabilities and green orientated network, where Hedera is the greenest network on the marketplace, where the network can validate and process 0.04 watts of energy per hour per transaction. And this is in stark contrast to even Visa, where in terms of transaction validation associated with the utility of the Visa protocol, the energy per transaction amounts to around 2.94 watts of energy per hour per transaction. So Hedera puts itself ahead, not only 
compared to other proof of stake DLTs on the marketplace, but even compared to Visa. So Hedera puts itself ahead and makes it a standalone project in terms of its ability to process a significant amount of transactions at a given time, whilst also being able to validate such transactions at relatively low energy costs. So extremely exciting all round for both Orocash and for Hedera. So there were some degrees of breadcrumbs in regards to a potential partnership between Hedera and Visa, where on Twitter, Sivo detailed as to a number of job offerings provided by Visa, where Visa are set to roll out a DLT protocol which is centered around improving cross-border payments so this recent oral cash initiative may have been the backbone and the reasoning for this relatively old job title and offering so this is a diagrammatic illustration of how distributed ledger technology could be utilized into visa's protocol where again varying nodes could be implemented and utilized to improve the scalability, the cost effectiveness and the security of the overarching visa protocol and the nuances and the protocols visa could be utilized into, into improving payment protocols and the ability for transactions to be authorized and validated, especially in the recent Orocash initiative. So what does this all mean for HBAR token holders? So despite the Oral Cash initiative only providing support to around 100,000 individuals, this still could be quite bullish, especially in regards to the indirect partnership Hedera and Visa has in this development and protocol, where successful Hedera utilized initiative could see the likes of Visa taking on the benefits of Hedera's network for other protocols. And again, this could see a more wide-scale usage of Hedera's protocol by the likes of Visa. So increases in the overall utility of Hedera, in this case Hedera's consensus service, will see increases in the demand for HBAR, where, where HBAR will be a means of validating transactions which emerge and arise between parties and even individuals. And as a result, this will lead to synonymous increases to the price of HBAR in the short term, mid term, and especially over the long run. So as well as the recent news in regards to the indirect partnership between Hedera and Visa, Coinbase have also provided details in regards to how they are set to list HBAR to their platform in the near future, where in a recent tweet provided by Coinbase, they detailed as to how they expect to deposit and begin trading for HBAR by mid-October. And eventually Coinbase will allow users to trade and purchase HBAR on, on its platform. So another exciting news story surrounding Hedera and this again could be a reason as to why the HBAR price may increase especially over the short term as in recent history when cryptocurrencies are listed on Coinbase this has led to sharp increases to the price of a given cryptocurrency so Hedera could see similar increases to its price especially over the short term and when the cryptocurrency is eventually rolled out onto Coinbase so another exciting story surrounding Hedera. What are your thoughts on Hedera? Are you bullish on this indirect partnership between Hedera and Visa? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.